Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Depending on when you watch this video. So I wanted to make this video some two days back, but I told myself I have to wait. I have to wait because a lot of information were coming that were not truth. I'm talking about what happened to Sunday ago. Uh, some few days back, the federal government released a report that we know where he is hiding. That was when I began to suspect Sunday Bo might be in trouble. Then, was it two days back, we well, hear he was arrested. Yesterday, we also hear he was released and he's on his way to Germany. I said, no, I'm not going to make a video until I get the whole facts and truth. They said Nigeria is trying to extradite him back to Nigeria, which it was all lie. I want to tell you what happened. We all are aware how the DSS attacked his house, killed two people, injured a lot of people, and arrested about seven people. So he had to flee for his life. He, just like every other person, believed that staying in Nigeria, he would not be safe. So somewhere along the line, he ran to Benin Republic. Probably without a passport through the border. So we might interest us to know that the Nigerian ambassador to Benin Republic is who? Guess. I will tell you who the ambassador to Benin Republic is at the end of this video. So information got to the Nigerian government that is in Benin Republic. And just when he knew he is going to have a little stress, he decided to leave. So this is the crime he was accused of. He procured a Benin Republic. That was how he was arrested while trying to flew out of Benin Republic. So, a lot of people are saying, no, it was Nigerian government that told the Benin Republic to arrest him, this and that. No, it's all lie. The Benin, probably it was the Nigerian government that hinted the Benin Republic that there is somebody who will be flying it's not been a republic, it's a Nigeria, he's using a Nigerian passport. Why? Because the embassy, there's always a police section attached to the embassy anywhere in the world. The police section can also go out and do investigation. So, probably they knew he was going out, alerted the Benin Republic, or it was the Benin Republic security that suspected something is wrong with his passport. So they stopped him and they arrested him. Fine, when he was arrested, it is true that Nigeria government started soliciting that he be brought back to Nigeria. But the Benin Republic said no, we we're going to try him, which of course is the normal thing. So yesterday, he went to the court for the first time to register his case. It was not because he had problem 
with Nigeria. That was why he was arrested now. For using or impersonating a, a Beninese or a Beninese or a citizen of Benin. That was why he was detained. So he's going to be tried on that offense. If he has a good lawyer, he could prove two cases. He has a root. His grandfather is from Benin. So patern paternally, he's from Benin, though he was born in Nigeria. And he can also prove that for the fear of his life, his life is in danger. That was why he came to Benin Republic to seek asylum. So he was in the process of seeking asylum when he got arrested. So we are just hoping that in a week or two we know what's going to happen to Sunday Ubo. But the funny thing, this government is not careful. You see, people are, are accusing you of being dictatorship, violating human rights. This is the time you should have lie low. But you are all out. So you are telling the world that whatever these people are saying about you is true. And on under the Kano's case, the British government, as I said, are extremely slow. I don't know why. I have my suspicions, but I don't I just want to give them the benefit of doubt. They are radically slow. But finally, the human rights lawyers have pressurized the government and the government is asking Nigeria now to tell them how Umna the Kanu was brought back to Nigeria. They want to know if it was legal or no legal. They already know what they they know it is illegal. So what they are going to do when Nigeria government now says this was how we brought him back, then they're going to say you don't have a right to try him because you have acted above the law or you have violated the international law. That way, because of the violation, you don't have the redition to try him. Because you cannot have legality in illegality. You cannot have illegal processes. When you have used illegal processes to start the legal processes. So that is on that case. Somebody asked me, say, Ephraim, are you in support that Nigeria will break away? My brother, I am not in support that Nigeria should break away. But Nigeria does not have a future. That's the truth. There is no future. Each subsequent government is worse than the previous. We've never had a government so bad like this one. It has failed in all aspects. In economy, in security, in all aspects. It has failed. So, 
what is the essence staying together if we can't be successful that's the question I ask what is the essence so we've tried everything it looks as if it is not working so let's let's try every region do it in its own different way and see if it will work we have been trying to patch patch since 1960 we've been patching do you know that what Umna de Kanu is fighting for now is exactly the same thing that caused the civil war Ochuko was fighting for restructuring some sectors are being neglected let's restructure that was what Ochuko was fighting for so the question is if 60 over 60 years we've not learned when are we going to learn that is why me i'm saying let's try the other way regional let's try it we've been trying one way it's not working so let's try the other way and see if that will solve the problem so my brother it's a dicey situation do you know how many nigerians are outside nigeria and thank god a lot of nigerians are outside those ones that are outside are happy those inside it was recorded that 40 percent of our income on our gross domestic uh, their income is coming from outside that's the fact that's the fact the nigerians outside are the one are the one helping that country to stay on its feet so how long how long are we going to do that how long that's the question so let's try as much as possible i will end this video here i thank you all for coming back to watch our video just like we always say in this channel stay blessed stay calm and stay safe remember subscribe to our video like our page and we'll do the rest. Ciao. Bye-bye.